Number 10 in our countdown of the top 10 weather events of 2020. Extremely hot and dry conditions across the West. One of the year's many billion dollar disasters. Summer across the four corners was especially brutal. The hottest and driest on record. Phoenix made headlines by recording more than 50 days with a temperature of 110 or higher, shattering the old record of 33. In fact, August was the hottest month for the city since record keeping began. And what about the hottest place on Earth? Death Valley recorded a high of 130 degrees on August 16th, the hottest temperature recorded globally in decades. The hot temperatures were partly a result of the lackluster monsoon season. Arizona recorded its driest summer on record, but Las Vegas' lack of rain takes the dry, crumbly cake. The city smashed its old record for consecutive dry days, going more than two-thirds of the year without measurable rain. The hot and dry conditions helped to intensify number nine in our year-end countdown, Colorado's historic fire season. Not only did wildfires burn more total acreage than any other year on record, three fires eclipsed the previous record for largest single fire in state history. On the last day of July, thunderstorms rolled through western Colorado and sparked a new wildfire north of Grand Junction named the Pine Gulch Fire. Burning in steep terrain, the fire grew rapidly over the next several weeks. On August 18th, 40 mile per hour thunderstorm winds caused it to grow more than 125,000 acres, surpassing the 2002 Hayman fire as the largest in state history. It was contained in mid-September and destroyed six structures. The record set by the Pine Gulch fire only lasted seven weeks. In mid-August, the Cameron Peak fire ignited north of Rocky Mountain National Park. From August 13th to the 14th, high winds caused the fire to grow by more than 30,000 acres in less than 24 hours, making it the new largest fire in state history. It eventually burned more than 208,000 acres and destroyed more than 400 structures. During the same high wind event on October 14th, a new wildfire started and quickly spread through the Arapaho National Forest. The East Troublesome Fire grew to more than 15,000 acres after its first week, but then exploded in size in late October from about 18,000 acres to more than 187,000 in just four days. During that run, evacuations were ordered for Grand Lake and eventually sections of Estes Park. Snow helped firefighters gain the upper hand on the fire in the days that followed, but it already killed two and destroyed more than 500 structures. It is Colorado's second largest fire on record. In all, the fires burned more than 600,000 acres in 2020, a greater area than the previous five years combined. Want to know more? Check out this story and all of the other top 10 weather events of 2020. For Weather Nation, I'm Rob Bradley.